Patreon member shout out. I'm on the front line, don't worry, I'll be fine. The story is just beginning. Say goodbye to my weakness, so long to regrets. I'm on the front line, don't worry, I'll be- Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. I'm so sick. <laughs> guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Please heal me. So, um, there is a ton to go over today. I, I'm not even going to focus on like last week. I'll just focus on the last couple of days. Some things that are personal. Um, I had had a... So, somebody mentioned yesterday that I was... Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you the quote that got me in trouble, which is, uh, I posted on Twitter, I posted on YouTube, posted on here, uh, on Facebook, so I'll, I'll read it right now in case anyone has forgotten or didn't see it. Quote, four years ago, there were zero trillion dollar companies that were publicly traded. Now there are six of them. And I think that Tesla will most likely be the first to reach a ten trillion dollar market cap. Four years from now, VV will be a household name, and OMI will be one dollar per token, with over a two hundred billion dollar market cap, end quote. And I had I had some flack from somebody saying that I ought not to push Omi onto friends, and I am way underwater with the price that I paid for it, and I'm not doing anyone any financial benefit by pushing it. And I also should have stuck with Tesla. So to break that down a little bit, for those of you that do not know that are here that are newer, I started buying last year at around point zero zero seven ish. And I bought it all the way down to 0 0.0014, buying every single day. And I had also bought it back up to 0 0.0084, whatever we were at, and back down and back up. I was doing this all the time. And I had put in at about 500-ish thousand dollars into the OMI token. And I, I had got, you know, I had a video where I was up to over a million dollars. I, I was up to a million dollars at like at like point zero zero seven something and, and then went even higher. So I am down in two different ways from the 500-ish thousand dollars that I put into it. Um, lost a couple hundred thousand dollars from that initial investment. But from the high that I was at, at over a million, I'm down over seven hundred thousand dollars. And I actually, you know, that was brought up. Say, look, you bought all this, you know, Omi last year and now you're down. Well, I I realized I hadn't bought Omi in a little while because I was worried about taxes. And I was like, okay, so I'll, and that was correct. So like, okay, I'll buy more Omi now, today. So I did yesterday. I bought another 400,000 Omi. So I'm up to 130.5 million, 130 million, 500,000 Omi. So at all time high, I was at, point, let's say 85. It was, it was one point, over $1.1 $1 .1 million. Right now, it's at what's like two five, so it's three hundred twenty six thousand. So I'm technically down over seven hundred thousand dollars. I'm not freaking out. I'm not. It's actually almost eight hundred thousand. Um, and and why am I not freaking out? Because to this day, still the only crypto associated with Disney, and I guess I have to be careful with what I say here. Um, I would much rather be in this project right now, still being down almost $800,000, than I would be in anything else. And I will get back into Bitcoin. I will get back into uh, other projects. And, and I still do have Essence from Earth 2, and I do still have property in Earth 2. But yes, I, I would much rather be in this than almost any other project right now. Earth 2 is kind of a wild card. Um, that could go to the moon on, like, I mean way to the moon. O Omi is already, like, even from here, it's already up like 90x, you know, like from where it had started from its ICO. Essence has not gone out yet. So, <laughs> you know, that, that could 100x, you know, from, from where it starts. Let's say it starts at, you know, uh, you know, 10 cents goes to $10. Jesus, <laughs> you know, that'd be nuts. Um, but for Okomi, I, it, it's everything. It's because of the team. It's because of the brain power behind it. It's because of the tokenomics that haven't yet been implemented, and it's because of the IP that's attached to it. It's innovative, it's disruptive, uh, and we do have some news to go over real quick. But before we do, let's take a look at some of the burns. The burns over the past uh, two weeks, we burned about 1.8 billion uh, OMI this week, 
you know, from the 7th to the 13th. And we burnt about 2.6 billion from the 31st of uh, March to the 6th of April. That was, you know, last week. So over the past two weeks, we've burned, burned over 4 billion OMI. So that's about 2 billion OMI per week. And I, I mean, we've had a good amount of drops. We had the Coca-Cola can. We had the baseball stamp drops, um, which is kind of like a first appearance sports, which I still haven't gotten that yet. I, I really do want it. Um, I did get my 194th Loki yesterday, though. I was, you know, on meds, and I was like, all right, let's, let's get this bread. Um, so that does bring us to a, to a couple of different things. Uh, we do have a couple things on Twitter that I did have to go over. Uh, one of which was uh, Vivi is posting a game design intern. Uh, so they quote, Akomi is looking for an experienced game design intern with UI slash UX and or visual design experience to help us design and iterate on the interaction design of our gamified tokenized collectibles platform called Vivi. <coughs> we'll break that down real quick right there. Our gamified tokenized collectibles platform. Now, this could be interpreted in many different ways. Oh, well, it's a game. You're trying to, you know, smash that uh, buy now button. The same way you should smash that like button and you know, right down below. And you should be able to do that, and it's a game. Are you gonna get the drop? Are you not gonna get the drop? Nobody knows. So maybe you could make the argument that that's the game. Or are some of these NFTs, a lot of people speculate like Marvel Mighties, are they going to be uh, gamified in the VVverse? When talking to Hello K, he had said that it is not a hard thing to make a racing game. How many different cars do we have? We have the Ecto-1s, we have the DeLoreans, um, or at least I have those. You know, I have the uh, 007, you know, uh, motorcycle. I have that. I have the cheap Aston Martin because I cannot afford the, you know, <coughs> the bigger ones. And then there is the uh, the kit, K-I-T-T. -T. There's that one. I think there's one other. There's a lot of great ones. I, I have as many as I can get. Wouldn't be that hard to have a racing game with all of these different vehicles. So, Vivi is a rapidly growing platform for players to collect, curate, and trade gamified tokenized collectibles on NFTs. We have licensed over 100 massive brands and IPs, and have partnered with some of the best content creators in the world. No, I'm not a partner. <laughs> but since the launch in December of 2020, Vivi has reached over 250,000 users, and are a top grossing app on mobile in dozens of countries. Um, so they want you to, the requirements are, you're currently pursuing or recently received a college degree in game design, game development, interaction design, interactive media, or similar. Demonstrated experience with Unity, the Unity engine, um, and Adobe Creative Suite. Demonstrated UI, UX, and or visual design experience. A professional portfolio with examples of your past work demonstrating game design. And this role will require virtually attending daily meetings and regular play testing with our Los Angeles-based team. So we already have a team that is that is working on this. They're just looking for an additional person to add to the team. Being able to work similar hours is important, and applicants must share a resume and portfolio when applying in order to be considered. You know, the job types is full time, comma internship. It pays anywhere between forty and sixty thousand per year. Schedule is Monday to Friday. Education they want is a bachelor's preferred. The experience they want is you know uh, two years on Unity preferred. The location is fully remote. And um, that's pretty much it. They said you want uh, with, uh, with the Rona 19 precautions, which if you're working remote, that doesn't really matter, I guess. But yeah, that's that's what they want. Um, and if you go over to Twitter, uh, there's uh, Alex had a few things to say about that. I'll go over that real quick. We have some people that are footers that are saying, why get an intern if they need a whole team? And again, I'm not going to call them out on it because it's really stupid and I don't want, you know, people like gaslight them. Um, <laughs> and then we have somebody that has a Deadpool, um, I think, as his profile. But it was great. I, I love this. I have a crocodile one, um, alligator one. Anyway, he says, the job post literally says that an intern will join the current team. So it means they already have a team, just adding people to the team. And then Alex being uh, just a G responds, says, but that would require reading. <laughs> Footing is easier. And then Brock McBlockchain, our favorite McBread cat, CEO of the Fiches, a Fiches is my new profile picture anyway, uh, says, I can be team. I, he, I don't know if he's ever had a, 
visit to Icon Has Cheeseburger. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Comment down below if you remember Icon Has Cheeseburger. They're just having fun uh, about that, saying like, oh, can I be part of the team? I, I don't know if he was part of the team at some point or if he's, I, I know he still talks to them. I, he, go watch that podcast that I have with Brock McBlockchain. It's, it's amazing. He drops a lot of knowledge on there. Anyway, some other things that Alex had said over the last couple of days is pretty good, so I will go and uh, read off some of those as well. Something that he responded to is, we do not have a VV support thing on Twitter. Like, like this is this is fake. This, where, where it has so one follower or, or whatever, that, that is fake. Uh, even Alex says, definitely not official, please report. So if you do see anything, something like that, um, tag somebody in that and then just be like, okay, yeah, just to confirm that it's fake. But anything that has like one follower, it says something like that. Again, it's very fake. Uh, so moving on. Vivi had tweeted about the death of Captain America, part 405, which is coming out. Uh, and this person ha um, on Twitter had asked, will we see any collectibles dropping this week? I'm assuming Saturday only. And Reverend Alex G says, to be determined. So we don't know if we can get something Friday and Saturday. Not at all. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We shall see. But it is to be determined, so we will uh, keep that in the loop. Keep y'all in the loop. And I know if you had invested in Omi at all-time highs, or even not even all-time highs, that was, you know, last year at 1.2 cents, give or take, let's say all-time high for the past year, and you invested at 0 0.0085, 86, whatever we, we got up to, and you're feeling a little down right now. You know, you're, you're down like 60%, give or take. To quote Harvey Dent, the night is darkest just before the dawn, and I promise you the dawn is coming. And let us remember in the words of our very dear uncle, Uncle Jay, Jeremy Pador, investments have ups and downs. Patience can yield big returns. $10,000 invested in Apple stock in 1982 is $10,000. That same $10,000 would have been $50,000 in 1992, 10 years later. 10 years after that, you would have lost $20,000. It would have only been worth $30,000 in 2002. But in 2012, it's worth 2.5 million and in 2022 it was worth 20.8 million dollars our uncle jeremy try to learn from him said that he had bought twenty thousand dollars worth of apple in 2000 in the year 2000 and he had sold for an eight thousand dollar loss today that would have been 14 million dollars he says never again and i don't know why people would sell for a loss if again this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor I fully recognize that everything I have can go to zero. But it just seems to me that this is going to be one of the hugest things. Like Alfred Arkan even said in that interview he did, will be a household name. I would not bet against him. I would not bet against anyone on that team. Um, anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. And everyone, please check out at HeyDivDon, at Mouse forever over on the Twitter. Send off chart team apps over on the VVAT. Kobe Collects and Omi Player 1 over on the YouTube. Wraithax.eth domain name. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Sabalas, VV Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy Bermuda, Sody Pop Media, The Gale, VV Darklink, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube. And you got at what was VV and Gary O at 1234CA3 all on the Twitter. Um, currently, I cannot um, ask anyone for the payment because they were two Alligator Lokis and transfers are, uh, are off right now. So if you want to get on the fridge, you want to pay, I guess, I don't know, PayPal? <laughs> I guess we could do that. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Class dismissed. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.